What are you doing, Dad? Looking at this. It's a clock. Yeah, no, but what Southampton footballer does this remind you of? Shall I tell you? Theo, wall clock. Don't turn the screen, dog. Oh, he has done. Cut. Cut. Well, don't really need to dress this one up, do we? Nottingham Forest versus Southampton. Relegation six-pointer at its finest. It's a huge, huge game. Can't really underestimate that one. Southampton, they're pretty much dead and buried, but this game will give them some hope, a win for Forest today, especially given the teams we've got left to play would be gigantic and it would give us a real platform to go on and stay in this league. It's going to be a very tough one, of course. The first game against Southampton is the only time we have won this season away from home. So who knows, can we do the double over them? What do you think, Dad? The double? Yes. It's, it's got to be the double. This is a massive three points. I'd say, and lots of other people are probably saying this, this is the biggest game we've played since we beat Huddersfield in the playoff final last season. It yeah. is huge, absolutely huge. But I'm confident of a Forest victory. Give us those massive three points. I'm going to go 3 1 Forest. Confident. They've got Ward Prowse. If he yeah, gets, yeah. you know, If he gets within striking range, who knows what's going to happen. But it's going to be a closely fought game hard fought game but we are the 12th man the forest faithful and we're going to get them across the line 3 1 forest you reds come on it's very wet jay what do you expect today against southampton uh, a lot of singing yeah a lot of scarves and hopefully a lot of goals for forest yeah it's going to be a tough game but i think forest might just do it too well i agree so, come on forest steve what do you think today I'm totally relaxed. I think we're going to score three. I think we're going to win today. Yeah. 3-1. Re re repeat the Brighton game. Um, yeah, I'm really, really relaxed today for this game. Yeah. Why? It's going to define our season, this is. Yeah. I know it's over 38 games, but I think everyone understands what I'm saying. They define our season. I think if we win this, we stay up. Yeah. So Somehow we'll get three points from the next three games, but yeah, I'm just it's going to be a roller coaster. Absolutely, it's not going to be easy, but yeah, yeah fancy it's 3 1. Same as Brighton. We'll take Brighton that. Reds. You Reds, David. I just need to go going. Very nervy and um, not underestimating Southampton at all. Yeah, Southampton come here, they've got very little to lose because people have written them off, they'll be desperate. It's a very, very, I think this is the hardest of our four remaining games, David. Yep. We mustn't give any free kicks away around the box because they've got a world-class exponent taking free kicks in James Ward-Prowse. <laughs> but, the low of Brentford was so low at the end, and I believe in life evening things out, yep. I think we'll win. But we're going to have to suffer to get that win. I think, it, I think we'll win 1-0, and I think it will get nervy, and we'll have to defend quite a lot. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a lot tougher than a lot of ours think. One change to the team. Wall out to Ryan Yates, who is captain. Rightly so. Massive boost. Huge boost to get him back into the starting 11. We were playing well the last three games despite losing to a bill and that's the issue. It's all well and good playing well, it's still going to lose. We have to pick up some points. We have to pick up all three here. This just can't stop.
in the lead. Come on. easy. It was very, very typical Nottingham Forest. They love us and it's almost like they test our love. They drag us through the ringer this way and that. 
and we're out on the end of it and it's a 4-3 win. I would love to have been a neutral watching that game, yeah. because I think it was an epic game, a great yeah. game. And you know, some credit to Southampton, they play some good football as well. Um, but it was basically two flawed teams, and when you get two flawed teams, you're going to get a terrific game of football. But, but I'm not neutral, neither are you, David. Not so. We're heavily emotionally invested in this, and that's the phrase I've used a couple of times. Mm. And it's just extreme emotions, you know, we're 1-0 we're up, at high, 2-0 two, two up, high, 2-1, oh correct, all, all the old fears creep back in. Then it goes 3-1, great penalty by Morgan. Two great finishes by Taiwo, by the way. taiwo has been su superb, I think, these last two or three weeks. Yeah. Anfield yeah. against Brighton, played well at Brentford. Um, would have kept him on, actually. But maybe Steve had a master plan using tonight. Played really well tonight. Morgan takes his penalty. Then it goes, <laughs> then it goes three two, and, he, and I was gonna at that point. Yeah, I'll be honest. I kind of thought, oh god, here they come, three three, whatever. <laughs> and then the boy from the Sao Paulo slum, my favourite, my little Danny. What a player! Danny, what a player he is. Three goals in three games now, and he breaks from midfield and he stop. He had a hand in the second goal as well. That must be remembered. I think he laid the ball out wide in, you know, in a, in a clutch of players. Mm, yeah. Danny Lowe pops up. Yeah. Then. Then again, we treated <laughs> Felipe. What a finish that was! He deserved that. He goal. deserved that goal. He really an outstanding did. footballer. And then, such as the pendulum swing in, we go up the other end, and you know, James Ward Prowse is never going to miss a penalty. He's a superb player. I wish he played for us. Actually, I think we'd have yeah, more I'm tempo in the field if James played for us. But absolutely, but we got to the end of it, and we we've, we've got a long haul in front of us still. I know it's only three games, but those are three very, very difficult games. Terrific night at City Ground, and proves this stadium. Yeah. Is a fantastic weapon for us, and these wonderful people that fill it and make this noise yeah. behind this club Absolutely. are brilliant. It was a club totally in unison tonight, and actually, that's a theme that's run through this season. Nobody, uh, the, the odd little you know, descent here and there, but Steve Cooper's yeah. dealt with that. Very Everybody's great. on board. We haven't changed our manager. We've stayed patient. We've all stuck together, and tonight was a fantastic reward for that. Doggedness, if you like, that stoic nature of the fans and the players. So, yeah, chuffed a bit, David. What a for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Up the reds. Up the reds. Thank you. My pleasure. So I won't go into too much depth. David did most of that for me, but um, I agree with everything he said. Huge, massive, massive three points. It was a stressful game to watch, but we got it done. You know, first half, two goals up at half time. Brilliant penalty from Morgan, two brilliant finishers from Ty where he scored some vital goals this season. They get one back, it's a bit nerve-wracking, we're under the cosh at a period and then that star Danilo, he is going to have a very special career ahead of him, he really is and I hate to think it's not going to be at Nottingham Forest unfortunately but he's a very special player, let's make the most of him while we've got him. Um, yeah, stressful but it was always going to be that way. What a game, 4-3, I've not been to a 4-3 game before actually, so that's a uh, first. Chelsea at the weekend, very tough, they may be struggling, but it is still Chelsea, they can still hurt us, but if we play like that, we probably did it at Anfield and Brentford, but actually, you know, see it out, there's no reason why we can't play a poor Chelsea team and get something, we really need to, and if we do, I think we're in a very strong position then, and of course Arsenal, very tough, Palace, I think that's just as tough because it's away from home, so yeah, three tough games left, but... We're picking up now seemingly two wins in the last four matches and the other two were significantly better performances than previous. So, yeah, lots to be uh, excited about and optimistic about. But, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. If you have got to this end of the vlog, then please make sure you do me a favour, hit the like button, subscribe to Rads if you're new. We're nearly at 5,000 subscribers. It would mean the world to me to get to that milestone, less than 300 to go. Do us a favour, please hit that button. And, yeah... There should be a few videos this week, actually, my Chelsea coverage, and there should be one other video as well. So there's lots to look forward to. Up the Reds.